Hi everyone, thanks for coming. I'm Regan, team member, team leader of Giant Panda. We have Harry, Felix, and Chris as our develop team, and it is my pleasure to present our project land tasker. First of all, I will introduce our project land tasker. Our project is focusing on a community platform that connects people who need to outsourcing tasks and find local services with people who are looking for to earn money and ready to work. From simple to complicated tasks, Lentasker can help you to satisfy your needs. So here is some highlights of our key features that we have done. We have registered and login system that new user can register as a member with our email verification system. After login, you can able to view other Tasker posts, our email verification to verify the email to ensure that they assist and valid. I forget password with a email for verification as well for user who forget their password and help them to reset it. So actually we're still developing a CRUD command and user profile set setting features, but they are still in the testing period. So I'm not demonstrating it today. So our project is in phase one and this project will continue to be developed. So it is time to give a quick journey of our project. So that is our tech stack of our project. We have three main part of our projects. First of all, for the front end, we are using TypeScript, module SASS, Axios and MUI materials. For the back end, we'll use Node.js with Express, Bcrypt, JSON Web Token and Amazon SES Service Library as support. For the database, we will use MongoDB. On the other side, we will use the bucket for our version control management and GRS Agile Methodology Project Management. So it's time for demo. So this is our website. So as a new user, let's become a member first. Then we jump into the, oh, sorry. sorry, I guess that's a disconnection. So as a new member, as a new user, I become, let's become a member first. Uh, click in the, let's jump into the register page. Then I input my email and password. And I'll click sign up and then we'll wait for it. And they will send an uh, email to my mailbox. Then I jump to mailbox. Then here, so that's an email verification. Then I click into the email. Yep, and then the email is verified. Then I lock, then I click back to login. So if I forgot the password, I will click the forgot password. That input my email again. We set my password and then home, it will send another link to my email account. So let's jump back to my mailbox and the password reset email. We'll click for it. So I can new password. Yep, now let's click set password and then set. You have already changed your password. Then I click to back to login. Login. Then I click login, and it will show this is login. So again, so this is our demonstrate the developer team demonstration today. So I will pass it to our default DevOps team, Mandy, to continue the presentation. Okay, uh, thank you, Regan. Uh, I'm, hi, everyone, I'm Mandy. Uh, in our DevOps team, we also have Sherry, Lynn, and Hazel. So today uh, I'm going to introduce our architecture. So we have three there, uh, three tiers architecture uh, the, for the uh, presentation. The, Tiers, uh, we got uh, front end, and then we host our uh, S3 bucket, uh, Route 50, Route 53, and um, uh, AWS Certificate Manager. 
And then the second tier, the logic tier, we have uh, we have uh, ECS Fargate, ECR, and uh, application load balancer. So at the ba uh, database tier, we use MongoDB. Uh, next page, please. Yeah. Uh, here is our uh, presentation layer. So uh, we host our static website on our S3 bucket and then register the domain name and host it zone in Route 53. Uh, in order to, to create the SSL certificate for HTTPS encrypt uh, connection. So uh, we use uh, certificate manager to deliver it. And uh, in CloudFront, we configured we configured a CDN for load, loading page to reduce the latency to deliver the content to our user. So we uh, implement our application as a EC, ECS Fargate task in two different availability zones, which provide high availabilities. In private subnet does not have access to internet. So we attach the net gateway to public subnet to solve this problem. And also that gateway can communicate with the internet on behalf of ECS. So that task can request the ECR or some logs to the CloudWatch. And we, we deploy the application load balancer to allow the traffic to, from public to each containers. So users, so users can access ECS through the application load balancer and forward the request and the traffic to container tasks. Uh, for in the data storage, we are using uh, MongoDB. And in this project, we use CloudWatch and Grafana for the monitoring and a lot. And uh, application load balancer and the Fargate send the logs to the CloudWatch and the import to Grafana. So um, next page. Yeah, here is our uh, CI CD pipeline. So we develop, uh, we implement a front end and back end pipeline. For front end pipeline, it will trigger to build each time each time when the code merge happened on big bucket onto the select branch. So code pipeline will fetch the build spec build spec YAML file from the source code to install package and build the application. The build artifact will, will be deployed on the S3 bucket as a static host page. And next page, please. And the, for the backend pipeline, they were also triggered to build when the uh, when the merge onto the target branch. So code pipeline will fetch the Docker file and build spec YAML file from the source. Uh, to dockerize the backend and uh, create a Docker image. This Docker image will be pushed to ECR and, uh, up, and update the task definition. And then the code pipeline will initialize the new cl cluster service and task on ECS. For our data security, we apply environment variables for all pipelines to ensure there are no credentials written in the source code. So uh, next page. Yeah, uh, that's a wrap for our presentation. Thank you very much.